So you all remember some videos a while back here where I told you in a, basically the CEO of Walmart warned and that they could be closing stores and raise prices to historically high rates of store theft. So, well, it has started to happen, folks. It has all come true. Yes, Walmart is slowly closing stores. Now, we're not talking, you know, five, six hundred stores. We're starting off with a small amount, um, probably under 25 stores right now, if I had to guess. Uh, they just announced that in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico, they're going to be closing a store within the next month. They're also closing um, a store in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, according to local reporting up there, and three stores in the Chicago area. Now, two of the stores in the Chicago area did not meet their financial expectations so they were very bad so they're being punished by well guess what walmart is saying you're not making money you're closed and the rest of you are out of jobs so this is where we're headed because like i did say you know the ceo he did warn that they're going to be raising prices and closing stores and everything else because of theft and underperforming stores and all of these different types of things so what are people going to do last spring uh special agents conducted a retail crime string at the Albuquerque Walmart that is now going to be closing uh, at the end of March of this year, um, they arrested uh, up to 16 people that was just walking in, grabbing stuff, and walking out. High dollar stuff, TVs, computer equipment. You know, they're not going in there and grabbing a, uh, a can of corned beef hash, if you get what I'm saying. They're going for the big dollar items, phones and electronics and all this type of stuff. And Walmart doesn't stop anybody, so they just let them go right out the door. Uh, the, but they're not the only retailer that does that. Uh, a lot of retailers nowadays, they do not uh, really go back on and try to chase down these people or anything like that you know what i'm saying they just don't do it anymore um also uh walmart confirms it's closing even more stores over now they're saying uh it's the self checkout theft so all you people that are using self checkout you're not scanning your products and you're causing law walmart to lose money Yes, you know, Walmart has announced it is shuttering even more stores after the retailer's CE warned of closing amid historically high theft issues. Uh, it's all over the, you know, it's all over the news here, folks. It's on huh, just about every different uh, channel you go to as far as, you know, whatever type of media you use for news information. Um, yep, they're closing down three more stores in Illinois. Um the the whole part of this is what is taking place and what is going on is very very interesting and you really have to sit back and think about it and, and comment below what, what you do think um you know they're closing these a lot of these different stores because of you know theft loss of profit they're not making money in the stores whatever the case may be but they're also having an issue with fires an Atlanta location in Divine City was temporarily shut down twice last year, once in May and again just before Christmas because somebody set a fire. All right, several locations across Georgia have been dealing with the same problem. Why is it people have to go into Walmart and start a fire? I don't know. Are they practicing their survival skills and they think that they're inside Walmart? It's survival? I mean, is that what they're doing? I'm trying to figure this out. Comment below why you think this is going on. Last August, a Walmart in Peachtree uh, City was temporarily closed after a 14-year-old girl allegedly started a fire in the store paper good aisle. You know, we just got our toilet paper and stuff back, and now some little girl goes in there and decides to light something on fire, and it all goes up in smoke. Imagine the people that were crying. 
No, imagine the people that run into the other Walmart in town to buy up all the toilet paper. Really. Locations across Alabama, Louisiana, New York, Colorado, and South Carolina have experienced the same issues in the last recent months. What is going on, folks? Why is people burning down Walmart? Are they self-imploding on themselves? I don't know. And on January 29th, a blaze broke out at a Walmart in Illinois, leading to the location's temporary closure. We're outraged that some would, would intentionally set a fire to our Walmart store and force us to close temporary. A Walmart rep told the outlet, We'll assess any damages and reopen as quickly and safely as possible. Just days later, another location was lit up in flames overnight in Holland, Ohio. <laughs> I'm telling you, folks, this is what's going on here. And, you know, I mean, you think the people that are probably setting these fires probably need Walmart, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I, I very highly doubt these are people that are shopping at... Uh, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue and uh, Macy's and uh, these type of areas. If you get what I'm saying here. The world has gone mad. Walmart is just another little bump in the road. All right. Yes, they're closing stores because they're not producing. They're closing stores because people are stealing. They're closing stores because people are trying to burn them down. So why leave them there? I wouldn't. Set my store on fire, and if I have as many stores as Walmart does, guess what? It's out of there. I'll find someplace else for it. You know, I mean, people need to really <laughs> think about what they're doing out here. You know, I mean, because they're not just affecting, you know, you're not just getting self-gratification because you did this. You got to think of the big picture here. All the people that you are affecting in that neighborhood, in that community, it could be the only store. Maybe people have to walk there. What are you doing? So this is where we're at right now with the store closures and stuff. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming in the near future. So I will keep my eye posted for that. And I will also always keep you posted. Once I hear something, I'll make sure that I will get the information out to you as soon as possible. Once again, I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video today. Thank you for everything to do for this channel. Thank you for bearing with me in my family crisis that I'm going through right now. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my live stream from Saturday night and you will see. And I really do want to say thank you to all of you. We have built a great community here. I'm not going to be gone long, hopefully just a few weeks, and we'll get back into our live streams. We'll get back into making videos and everything else. But we have to always remember, family comes first before anything. Because in the end, all you have is your family. So until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I'm out.